Hoi hoi! It's Lewis T again and for this video I'm gonna be talking a book that I recently read and I definitely enjoyed and that is Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Cho. Hooray! So I decided to buy this book. This is included in one of my previous book hauls which I can link down below in the description box because I enjoyed reading Emergency Contact by the same author, which I'm also going to be linking down below. So if you guys want to check it out, just feel free to check it out in the description box. So I decided to, you know, I think that uh, this book is pretty cool. You know, I just had that gut feeling. And actually I was supposed to buy the hardcover because, you know, the shimmering effect. However, when I bought the book, it didn't have a stock that is like the hardcover that's really fancy and all so but I still wanted to you know have a copy of the book and I thought like you know this paperback dude right over here thinks that's gonna be cheaper and a lot easier to carry around so I decided to still buy it anyway I read this and I recently enjoy it so let me talk about the book so Emergency Contact follows the story of Pablo, who works in a deli, or some folks call it bodega. And he's just kind of like coasting in life, you know, dealing with student loans, credit card bills, and all sorts of bills, and adulting, you know. So he's kind of like confused with what he wants to do in his life, you know. And one day, or rather one evening because it was like in his shift you know uh, night shift like during the dawn I used to work you know on a night shift so I kind of can't picture that out even if I'm not in New York City <laughs> so he meets a celebrity named uh, Leanna Smart okay and from there they get to know each other and some sort of a relationship kind of uh, builds up Okay, so let me begin about the things that, you know, this book can improve. Although some of these points are not exactly the reason why I would kind of deduct, you know, the rating for this book. Okay, first of all, this cover and the summary is deceptive, you know. Because if I'm going to look at this cover, I'm thinking about like some steamy, you know, romance, you know, and there's like a huge uh, lovey-dovey kind of thing, which, you know, almost like, I guess I'd say 70% uh, of the book uh, revolved around Leanna and Pablo. You know, of course, there are dates, there were some, you know, some kissing as well but not too like uh, smutty or anything and you know a lot of the things that were going through Pablo's mind came from you know from how he kn how he knew Leanna just for me I felt like the way it was summarized um, it kind of focused that there's gonna be a lot of romance where that's kind of like the main Thing about like or you're gonna think about forbidden love or what's gonna go and what's gonna happen with these two but to me well it's not really like I said this is not a deduction okay for the book I just feel like the story focused more which I think is a beautiful thing you know that the story focused on Pablo's dilemma on what he wants to do in life okay I felt like it was about him you know um, and the whole thing about permanent record, there was just only one part that they mentioned it. But I think you can think of it like permanent record and having like a trying to make a permanent record in history, something like that. Trying to create a mark. So it's kind of like one of the struggles that Pablo is thinking like, well, how can he make a mark for himself to keep his life going? <laughs> okay. So. Another thing, well, this one is one thing that made me decrease the rating, you know, for this book. It's like during the early parts, 
I feel like the way that this was constructed or, you know, the way that the events were synthesized, it was as if like you're watching a movie, you know, overall, which was a great thing. But during the first part, I felt like it it may work well if it was if it's going to be in a movie and it's going to be executed well but for me i felt like every single like uh almost like you know th these scenes were in okay here's the character and then suddenly another character comes or like let's say a certain scene comes and then like this character is going to start uh talking about a certain memory or anything that would trigger them that's what happened during the earlier parts, especially the first parts, wherein, to me, most of them didn't make any sense. They kind of did really, for me, it's not necessary, or it wasn't, you know, synthesized in a way that it made sense. Like, it's as if, like, there's just a random memory, and I'm like, what's happening now? <laughs> so that's the impression that I got, but I guess maybe if it's going to be turned into a film, you know, and it's going to be executed well, then maybe... Um, it would be done, you know, a lot better. It would be, you know, visualized a lot better. I just think that there's just a lot of it during the beginning. But overall, you know, in terms of the synth, you know, the cohesiveness, you know, uh, what else? The way the story, the scenes were synthesized, the writing style, I'd say, was pretty good. It's like, honestly, I feel like I was watching a movie, which I'm not sure if that is kind of, it's kind of weird because, you know, I'm into books more than movies. But you know, that feeling of like, it's so cinematic or you feel like you're being relaxed, you know, I don't know. And it's a contemporary book, which it may seem like, wow, like that's kind of um, odd, but odd in a good way. I don't know, I just felt like, it was like seemed really well and you know I love how it one thing that I like about books that for me would elevate its rating regardless of like what you know um, message you're trying to come across uh, I have yet again honestly for me it's like I know that there are most of the books that are out there would probably be things that I don't necessarily agree upon. And although it's still up to me whether if I have the guts to like look past it and read it, because I know there are some books out there that I don't think I'll be reading because it's just too much, you know, I've heard, you know, some things that in terms of my beliefs are like, mm -hmm. which is going to be in a separate video. But, you know, um, there were like, like I said, Pablo was dealing with, you know, what he wants to do in his life. And just as, you know, one thing that I kind of hear from other booktubers, uh, this story ain't over mentioned it, by the way. Um, if you'd like to read a book which talks about, you know, trying to find your purpose, you know, and trying to find the reason why you want to live, this is a great one because it talks about that topic really well. They were able to kind of like execute the scenes to kind of convey that message. So, and some of the things here, uh, some of the things that were said by the characters, I don't agree, okay, or just don't exactly make sense, uh, which can be put in a separate video. I might talk about it, who knows? <laughs> anyway, but it will make you think. It will make you uh, trigger, you know, um, like about how, you know, you just want to go for it. But, you know, it's like it's hard in life, you know, finding that balance. Anyway, I can talk about that in another video, probably if I'm going to do a reflections video. Who knows? Hey, but yes, that topic about finding your purpose was was so you know, executed well, it made you brood, it makes you think, which I think is really cool about books, you know, when, when they kind of like make you think about things, you know, I think that's really lovely. So, gosh, I knew, I haven't conceptualized yet my list for, you know, great reads of 2019, because this one is, I guess, going to be included <laughs> in that one. So I would say I'm going to be giving this 4.5 out of 5 stars. 
and I'm excited for Mary H. K. Ch to write another book. So I'm looking forward to that one, and I hope that I'm going to be enjoying it again. So, okay. So comment down below if you folks read that book. What were your thoughts about it? You know, you can tell me if you folks filmed a book review about it. Um, I suggest to not put a link. Just tell me if you did because chances are if you put links in your comments, by the way, chances are YouTube are going to tag it as spam. So I might not be able to see it right away. Okay. So just a little tip, folks, y'all. So yeah, so feel free to share your thoughts about the book or, you know, any other like thoughts about even about emergency contact if you'd like to share it share it down below so feel free to do that and yeah feel free to also share any contemporary read that you read recently so I hope you folks enjoyed this video I hope you got some thoughts I hope this helped you know if you guys are you know assessing if you folks will be reading this book definitely I would it's 4.5 out of 5 stars so yep i hope you enjoy this book review or this video so feel free to share your thoughts so if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up also click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos also be putting down the links in my social media accounts so feel free to check me out and follow me there as well as always, thank you super much for watching. Let us continue seeking for wisdom and unleash the reader in you. Bye, y'all.